Hey guys, it's Kush, and welcome to a new series that I'm going to start today. It's called The Hunt for 99 Slayer. Yeah, get that joke, little hunt there, you hunt monsters and everything. Well, anyways, this series, I'm going to be basically getting 99 Slayer. Now, this isn't just going to be just me showing you the tasks I get and everything. There's going to be a, more stuff to it, like, okay, I'll explain what's going on. This is not too complicated, but basically, people don't do Slayer because they know it sucks. They just believe that Slayer is the worst skill out there and nobody wants to do it. Well, this series will prove that it's wrong. I will get 99 Slayer. I, ha I will make a log. I will show you that in a second, but it will prove that Slayer can be profitable with that profitable without getting drops like whips and staff of lights and dark bows and all those slayer drops not because that's not why slayer is profitable there's other reasons why that is and i will show you in this series um another thing is uh i want to party yet that's uh, another reason i'm doing this now the tormented demon series is still going on i'm still going to be doing that i'll explain that in a bit too but this is going to be part like the next part of getting a party at the tormented demon series i mainly wanted to do it because of the claw drops i would get and from here i'd get a bunch of money too so that's another reason i did this now i did say i'm gonna be flipping money to get a party at and i just found that extremely boring it felt like i was doing more of other games rather than runescape like i was playing arcanist the most of the time instead of runescape so i quit that bought my bandos back and everything now i only have like hundred something mil cash again uh, it wasn't too profitable for me, uh, flipping that is, because I made about a couple mills in like a week and I wasn't very happy with that. So I just bought all my stuff back and I want to do combat for experience now. I mean, money. Uh, that's the reason, yeah, for that. Um, it will not be just one task in each video. I will show you like a bunch of tasks in each video and there will be a live reaction in it from it. Just not going to be just me voicing over task. It's going to be actual what I thought of the whole task and some tips about it maybe yeah that's another thing um going for money i just said that this was a bad choice yeah flipping money that was a very bad choice for me i should not have done this um this was a bad choice but a good start show drop log okay there we go i have this all written down i'm just reading off that so okay first show you the tormented demon log this has been going on i do not have microsoft word anymore it, ex it expired so I'm going to be using Microsoft Office, it's basically the same thing, but, I mean, not Microsoft Word, uh, Excel, that expired, so I'm going to be using my Open Office. it's exactly the same thing, but can't apparently, like, color in claws, I wanted to make those red, because it's obviously a special drop, I already have two claws in the series, I've only done, like, 13 trips, total trips isn't that much either, let me see if that's, a, yep, 128, that's awesome, 120 kills, two claws already, that's good, so the Tormented Demon series is continuing, this is a Slayer one. Now, basically, this is not the first episode of the series. This is just like a vlog. I'm doing what I've been doing and everything. I just said what I was doing. So, first was Jad, amount one. Obviously, I only have to kill one Jad. Now, you could say that I have to kill a bunch of other monsters in there, but it's still just one Jad. That's the whole point of the cave. If you just die at Jad, that's just like, what the heck are you doing? So, that's another reason. Now, oh, what I meant by this was a bad choice here. I'll go over that in a second. Uh, notable drops, Jad does not drop anything except Toko and Fire. He doesn't drop those you get from the outside. Uh, and total money, you obviously don't get anything except for the Toko, which I would maybe save up for uh, Onyx, but yeah. Uh, what I meant by this was a bad choice, it's because I did have Fire Giants before this, and I was going to start off this, um, the whole series with that, but I didn't want to because it, I was like halfway through the task, and it was just not, I was not comfortable with that, so I said I'll just start over with this, and the first task with Jad, I was, this is not a good choice because Jad does not drop anything, obviously. It's not a profitable way to do Slayer for me. I will do this mainly for profit, not for XP. So it was a pretty bad choice, but I just wanted to start off with something cool like Jad. So that's why that's on there. Right, so uh, the Torment Demon series is still going on. Yeah, that's basically what I've been doing and what I will be doing. Minigame series, so I'm doing three series now. Minigame series, Torment Demon, and now the Slayer one. Hunt for 99 Slayer. So yeah, uh, 4 minutes, 30 something seconds video, not too bad. I hate when my videos get over 10 minutes, if you haven't known that by now. I really hate that. My last gnome restaurant one, I was not expect expecting it to be like 18 minutes long. I was just shocked when that happened. I was not happy with that. So yeah, I'm just going to end it right here before I just go talking on forever. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.